Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a skinnyfied, is that a word? Skinnyfied version of chicken parmesan. Not only is it like 350 calories for the whole meal and very filling, it's also keto and low carb friendly. So whatever diet plan you are following, calorie counting, Weight Watchers, keto, low carb, this recipe is for you. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and let's do this. All right, if you didn't see my previous video on my Trader Joe's haul, um, I will link that. Um, be sure and watch that. So there's some really, really great Trader Joe's finds. But I had found this pre-packaged German turnip that's shredded, kind of looks like cabbage, and it's crunchy. Um, but you can steam it right in the bag. It takes like two minutes, two to four minutes, I think, on the packaging. You steam it right in the bag dump it in whatever sauce you want. And it closely resembles spaghetti squash in texture, which I actually prefer over like zoodles because zoodles to me with zucchini is soggy and I don't like that. So I liked it to have a little bit of bite. But spaghetti squash is very time consuming to make. I did buy Trader Joe's boxed spaghetti squash nests that I'm going to be trying tomorrow or the day after. So maybe we'll do a video on a recipe for that and a review on that and see how easy that is. Supposedly you just dump them in water and boil them for a few minutes. So I'm gonna try that. But these were prepackaged in the um, produce section and two cups is 25 calories. So I'm gonna take you into my kitchen and show you how I make this and the entire family ate every bite. Let's go. I have this Trader Joe's vegetable pasta. It's a German turnip. And actually, I think it's gonna be really good. I've got three of these. And what I've done is a cup of the Trader Joe's marinara tomato basil and four spicy jack laughing cows and four light regular ones. I'm gonna mix this up. We're gonna put this on, mix it all in. And then I've got some boneless skinless chicken breast cooking with Italian seasoning on them. And then we're gonna top them with a little bit of the shredded Parmesan trees. Cheese, not trees, Parmesan trees. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing if Parmesan grew on trees? 110 calories for a quarter cup. So we'll probably just use an eighth of a cup or sprinkle it on. Okay, so that's gonna be very low in calories because this entire bag is like 75 calories. And these are 30, that's, 100, that's 90. No, that's 150. But I'm putting this for four people, so. I'll put the numbers up on the screen, but this is going to be a very low calorie, hopefully very tasty dish. You know, I love me some pasta, some really, really good pasta. And I do get the lower calorie pasta a lot, and that's great, but it's also very expensive. And this is just a way to really cut down on some calories and carbs. I mean, 25 calories is a really good deal. Hang on. Guys, I'm filming. Does anybody else have this problem in summer? Just me? Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Okay, so that's it. It's three little chicken tenders, chicken breast tenders that I have just Italian seasoning, salt and pepper on, grill that up. Super simple, super easy. And then just a tiny bit of Parmesan on top of that to give it that Parmesan chicken feel. The chicken's not breaded, obviously, but that's just gonna save you on carbs and calories and give you the same kind of flavor. It's not as good, I get it. But if you're trying to be healthy, this is a much better alternative. It was very filling. The sauce was amazing. I mean, using the two spicy pepper jack cheeses and the one regular one of the Laughing Cow mixed in with the marinara sauce just gave it like just a hint of spice and creaminess. So it was like a half and half sort of Alfredo red sauce. So good. And really those German turnips have 
really no flavor to them at all. And so it just took on the flavor of the sauce with a little bit of crunchy texture. I really like, it's not crunchy, but you know what I mean. It's got a bite to it. So good, loved it. Everyone loved it. Definitely gonna make it again. I will put the exact calorie count in the description box below or up here on the screen somewhere. I need to calculate it out, but it was just so low in calories. So this was a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> that was so cheesy. I'm leaving it in though. All right, stay tuned for next week's video. We'll do another recipe. Also, August 5th, my swim spa is arriving. And so I'm gonna do a whole video reviewing this swim spa, getting in there, seeing about the exercising and does it work as well as having an actual pool? Is it worth it? So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a little while before I can get that up, another month or six weeks maybe because it's not coming for another month, but it's been a long 10 month wait. So make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell if you're interested in seeing this dual swim spot. It's gonna have one cabinet, but two sections, one part is the spa, one part is the swim spa, and we're gonna do some exercising in it because over 40, sometimes the uh, joints and muscles and everything hurt a little bit to exercise, and this is a way to do strength training, cardio, all of that without getting hot, without injuring your joints, without sweating, love it. All right, otherwise I hope you're having a great day. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. See ya.